Welcome back to JCR Garage. Today I'm going to show you how to install our shield tire carrier on the Jeep JK Wrangler. Using the seven 10 millimeter bolts, install the JCR tailgate plate onto the tailgate. Make sure the connection bracket is in the top left corner. Before installing the spindle, you may need to clean the spindle sleeve. You want to make sure that it's a slip fit. Using a 1 and an eighth wrench, tighten the lower bolt. Whoa, it's okay men over 40, you can unclench. We're just going to pack these bearings with some grease. Working the bearing around in your hand, knead the grease into each of the bearings. Apply a little bit of grease on the inside of the oil seal as well as the top cap o-ring. Prop the carrier so you can install the lower bearing. Place the lower bearing taper side down into the carrier. Using a large socket or punch, knock in the lower oil seal. Make sure you hammer in carefully and most importantly straight. With the lower bearing installed, slide the carrier onto the spindle. Place the top bearing taper down over the spindle and into the hub. Install the large washer and the top spindle nut using a one and a half inch socket and snug it up. Install the O-ring onto the top cap and use the provided wrench to snug the cap on. Using the spacers provided, install the tailgate link into the shield carrier with the half inch by two inch bolt and tighten them up. Loosely install the rubber isolators onto the back of the carrier. Carefully close the carrier and measure to determine the mounting height of the tire. Install the inner tire mount in the desired location. And you thought a broom only worked for cleaning the floors and chasing away stray dogs? Well here's another use. Use it to help measure the backspacing of your tire and wheel. Next, loosely install the three carriage bolts into the outer tire mount. Set your length and tighten the top bolt first. Next. Tighten the side bolts. Lengthen the tailgate link and then close the gate and install the half inch by two inch bolt. You may need a punch to line everything up. Tighten the link until the rubber isolators touch the tailgate plate. The rubber isolators may need to be shimmed out with washers. This all depends on how the bumper is positioned. Once adjusted, open the gate and tighten the jam nuts on the link. If installing the optional high lift mount, Place the mount onto the carrier and loosely install the four 5 16 inch button head bolts. Using a 3 16 inch allen, tighten up the four bolts. Next, install the 7 16 inch bolts that will hold the high lift jack. Using a socket and a hammer, tap on the retaining clips. Insert the jaw of the jack into the carrier and install the wing nuts. Now's the time to go back and make sure everything has been tightened. So that wraps up the installation of the shield carrier on our JK bumper. Now I just gotta get this giant tire installed. <laughs> Whose idea was 37 inch tires? <laughs> oh man, stupid tires. <laughs> okay. Let's get some help here. Siri, does this qualify for workman's count? I'd rather not say. Can you please call Daryl? Stupid Siri. Siri, call Daryl. Mother, I hate this. Why do you suck, iPhone? Calling Daryl Hudson, mobile. I need you to come give me a hand. I got this stupid tire caught on top of me again. <laughs> did you just, did he just hang up on me? Ah! 